There is a great disturbance in the Force. There's this thing called racial consciousness um, that we should be very proud of and very active in. If you say so, Lord Vader. But we must avoid racial conceit. Yes. Um, we envy white people. Not their color, but their advantage. You keep saying we. Who are you referring to, Lord Vader? African Americans. I didn't know you were black. You know, I, I'm, I'm a man of color, but... Good God. Next you'll be telling me you're gay, Lord Vader. Well, this just got rather awkward. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Last night was episode three of Star Wars The Acolyte, and everything everyone said was true. Yes, two women scissorsing in the forest can now produce a child. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what to say, but... You know, I want to go over some of the reaction because obviously actual fans are destroying the show. Um, people are, you know, the reviews are coming out. The Rotten Tomatoes st score has sunk even lower, now down to 24, 23%. It just went down another percent. Star Wars is officially dead. Thank you, Leslie Headland, uh, you know, Harvey's assistant, for finally putting the final nail on. The, the Star Wars being the force being female chicks. You can have it. The, the 2% of the fandom that was female, you can have it. And by the way, the chicks don't like it either. You know, that's the thing. So you need some Gen Z zoomers who want to watch this weird gender ideology LARP. Hopefully you'll get them. The critics score, by the way, now dropped down to 84% as more critics have come in, but the audience score now down to 23%. 23%, an all-time low. Um, this is perhaps the biggest abomination that Star Wars has ever put out. And let's just get right to some of the reactions. First, we'll get uh, Endymion uh, saying, uh, Endymion, sorry, the third episode of Star Wars, The Acolyte, basically ruins the original films with all the creative decisions made with this one 44-minute episode. Anakin is no longer special. The Force can be whatever the heck you want it to be. And two women can give birth to twins without the need of men. New video tomorrow. Okay, well, you might want to check that out. They've definitely been doing some good stuff. Uh, don't forget the most important part. The Jedi, Jedi are now being reframed as colonial oppressors. Queer inversion of heroes, villains, big part of what they do. You see, the Acolyte asked the interesting question, who is more evil? The cult brainwashing children and not letting them become their own person or the one that's doing the same thing with government backing. This is pure gender. You know, we've gone from the Jedi are blind and misguided to the Jedi are actually incredibly evil. Uh, you see, you should have to take them from kids. You know, all they're, they're basically destroying what was left of the Jedi. They're destroying what was left with what they did to the Jedi with, you know, in the last Jedi with the guy drinking the green, you know, milk right they've they've destroyed the jedi this has completely exactly what their plan was the acolyte episode three review boring drawn out nonsensical garbage but we don't cover uh cosmic book news because they get really butt hurt uh when i make fun of their rig so we'll go and we'll cover another rig in forbes magazine the acolyte episode three review one of the most disappointing star wars episodes ever made this via eric kane who is generally pretty even killed in his reviews uh he will acknowledge kind of like the culture war stuff but he seems to be pretty even like you know he's definitely supported or thought some shows that i definitely thought were woke trash were good so we've definitely disagreed on things we've also agreed on some things too the third episode of disney's the acolyte is an embarrassment to the entire franchise through the same could be said for much of star wars these days outside of Andor in the first two seasons of Mandalorian. I think most people would agree with that take. I think the first two seasons of Mandalorian were very good. Um, and Andor was solid. Here's the exchange between two characters in the latest episode. May, the Jedi are bad. Osha, the Jedi are good. Later, the two same two characters, the twin protagonist, antagonist side of the story, as the children in flashback say to one another, what have you done? 
What have you done? What have you done? I want to ask Disney the same question. What have you done? The entire episode is a bad joke. We learn that May and Asha live with their mothers in the Society of Witches, all of whom are female. It appears they were conceived using the Force or something. Force using witches are also apparently frowned upon in the galaxy. They call the Force the Thread, so they've renamed the Force. I'm getting dark side vibes here, though I'm also getting the sense that this show will try to be all edgy and make the Jedi out to be bad guys, which we've seen played out about a half a dozen times at this point. The two characters will fight one another constantly, are very irritating throughout the entire episode. Oh, uh, Asha wants to leave her people and May wants to stay. When the Jedi show up to test the girls for their force powers, they agree to fake not having any. But Jedi Master Saul convinces Asha to not lie and she wants to be a Jedi and leave with them against her mother's wishes. Uh, May is upset, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, scattered thoughts. IGN says this episode offers up a lot of tantalizing new layers on how we could perceive both the Jedi and the Force. I would like to know if we use different versions of the word tantalizing. I'm confused about the entire motivation who wants revenge on the Jedi, but actually one is the one is responsible for ending anybody. If that is anyone, it's actually dead. The Jedi in episode two ended himself over this, it seems. I mean, there's just so many disastrous parts of the episode. You know, you see, regardless of what weird way to end the episode, the girls fight, the fire spreads, nobody cares, okay? Someone has captured the chant footage. This was put in an actual TV show we're supposed to take seriously. Um, these are the women, you know, the the lesbian witches who are, you know, chanting. I mean, I, 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 I can't show because I'm sure it'll get flagged. I have no words. I do have a theory, however. Imposters have taken over Star Wars and lots of other popular genre properties from The Witcher to True Detective. Maybe they're fans. Maybe they're not. But they're certainly masquerading as good storytellers. And they think they know what's best, making whatever changes they see fit to make their own. In, uh, I'd say that Star Wars deserves better stewards, but George Lucas didn't do a very good job of that himself in his later years. In fact, the acolyte keeps reminding me of the prequel trilogy in all the worst ways. Ah, well, what a shame. I'll keep watching, obviously, and I really do hope it gets better. In fact, next week's episode, which is too short and has an annoying cliffhanger ending, is leaps and bounds better than this one. So that's something to look forward to, silver linings and all that jazz. Well, I, you know, I don't think, you know, I'm again asking people to stop hate watching shows. You know, all it does is you know, like, um, you know, all it does is show them viewership, you know, all these people who are watching it for the lulls and who are watching it to, to dunk on it. You're just giving Disney viewership. Now I'm not telling anybody how to watch or what to do this kind of stuff, but, uh, there are other ways you can enjoy these shows without giving them the views, you know, or you could wait, uh, until after the fact, you know, a week or two, a month or two later and watch it. You see Wall Street Silver. Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 3 became about uh, LGBTQ witches producing children with the Force. Sorry, it's not called the Force anymore. They're basically throwing away all of the background that George Lucas created and booting their male fan base. You can see this Lily. <clears throat> this received 15,000 likes. Wow, eight minutes into The Acolyte Season 3, and I'm already done. I don't even think this is a controversial part. This isn't Star Wars anymore. I hate it here. The Whammon cult doesn't call the Force the Force because old white men made that up, guys. Get it right. It's called the Thread because they're diverse Whammon of color and they're going to be so much more powerful. Oh, wait. Just, oh my gosh. Waste about eight minutes showing us how one evil twin is evil and one is good. Then getting their hair done about getting told you're perfect the way you are by mom number two. Now we're at the stupid ceremony. I see what they're doing. They're erasing how special Anakin is because of Palpatine possibly using the Force to make Anakin. They won't stop until they destroy him and Luke. Look, Anakin, you're not special. The diverse women of color created two. I honestly, lull, what are the Jedi trying to protect? The children are rolling, uh, you know, rollful. Wow. And now they're the bad guys. Remember to see how it all sounds familiar. I mean, it's actually wild. If people really want to send Disney a message to this, every time they release a new Acolyte episode, 
don't watch it. Instead, watch canon Star Wars film. Let the viewer numbers of The Acolyte plummet and the viewer numbers of canon Star Wars rise. I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. I, I, just, I, I just put this out. I'm like, seriously. Like, please stop hate watching The Acolyte. Disney still counts you as a viewer. You could see down to 23%. I mean, I don't think it, it's, it's hard to imagine it going even lower than this. But this, I mean, just go ahead and erase, erase everything canon and rewrite it because you're a strong, independent women who don't need no man. And that's the way it's going to be. I mean, this is so far beyond, like, um, this is so far beyond the, you know, Star Wars is the gayest Star Wars ever. And I'm so proud of that. It's actually bonkers. It's actually bonkers. Leslie Headland somehow, somehow found a bigger way to take a dump on George's creation than ruin Johnson. Anakin's story is now no longer special nor relevant. Space lesbian witches can just use the force to conjure babies at will. Episode 3 of The Acolyte is indefensible. Star Wars is truly dead. You know, there, there's still a residual fan base who tune in every time like clockwork to see if they've, quote, finally fixed it. This time, stop. You're part of the problem. Hate watching is the same as watching for their numbers. They love that you watch it. Just stop. I don't disagree with that. I mean, I'm out here saying that. Stop watching Star Wars on Disney+. Plus. If you want to watch it, watch it at a friend's house. If you want to watch it, get 10 of your friends together and I'll watch it at the same time so they get one-tenth of the viewership. Start hosting parties that make fun of Star Wars. Like, let's all, you know, make it a thing weekly where you and all your buddies get together and you all laugh, um, you know, and you would all laugh and have a good time making fun at the death of Star Wars. If you absolutely have to watch it, make sure you get together and you have, you know, 10 people, 10 of your friends all hanging out and watching it so they only get, they only can count one viewer. You know, that is absolutely a legal way to make sure they get reduced viewership. Some people out there are suggesting otherwise. I can't do that. But stop hate watching or find a different way so that they don't profit off of your hate watching. We can all have fun and make fun of it together. That's important. But no more hate watching or, you know, watch it at a friend's house, something. Figure out a way to get their numbers down. Otherwise, they're just going to keep producing this trash because hate watchers are still viewers, hate watchers are still paying for Disney Plus. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.